Making multiple map arts in a world can be quite laborious, as multiple flat platforms need to be constructed, unless of course you clear your old map art. This video showcases a design for a contraption that automatically clears completed carpet map arts, allowing the platform to be reused for future artwork. This design works to clear flat carpet map arts by utilising water and a redstone sweeper. These carpets are then collected to be reused. This video follows on from my previous video which explained how to make transparent map arts in vanilla Minecraft. A link to that video will be in the description. I recommend watching that if you are interested in discovering awesome new ways to utilise map arts in Minecraft by taking advantage of a lesser known game mechanic involving map rendering over the void. A reusable map art platform means you can save time on clearing your old map art or constructing large new map platforms either into the land or out in the ocean. This carpet clearer was designed by an innovative Minecraft player called Quinton. I'll also leave a link to his YouTube channel below. I recommend it's worth checking it out as there's some really good content on there. The main platform is built in the end dimension and made of glass. And this is to allow for the creation of transparent map arts as well as standard maps. The reusable platform can be split into three main parts. The platform itself, which is lined on all sides with water dispensers. Then you've got the water sweeper. And finally, a storage room. And this is fitted with a lossless automatic sorter, which takes advantage of a dolphin to prevent items from despawning. It needs at least Minecraft 1.15 to work due to the use of honey blocks. So, let's have a closer look. This specific platform has been adapted from Quinton's design with a focus on ergonomic design and ease of use and is great for use on Minecraft servers as a public platform. When you have finished your artwork and locked your map, you can begin to clear the platform. The button to power the redstone circuits is situated below in the centre of the platform to prevent the sweepers from unloading and breaking. The button causes a very brief signal to reach this small circuit with three dispensers. This directs the redstone signal to the side where the sweeper is located, which depending on the last use could be the left or right side. There is a small delay to the signal before it reaches the first dispenser, which in turn updates the observer and triggers the next dispenser and so on, resulting in a chain reaction which triggers all the dispensers on two sides of the platform. This water moves across the platform, breaking all the carpets in the process. And when the last dispenser is activated, the signal powers a powered rail which triggers the redstone sweeper to activate. The sweeper contains slime and honey blocks, powered by 18 flying machine units, which allows it to reach the required length of 130 blocks. Directly underneath the sweeper is a row of blocks which remove the water as the sweeper goes past. The carpets are pushed into a water stream which sends them to the automatic item sorter. Any sort of glazed terracotta can be used to stop the sweeper as this block cannot be pushed by pistons. Due to the number of carpets in use and the slow rate that the sorter works, most carpets do not get picked up immediately and instead just cycle around and around. Therefore, a dolphin is used as when an item enters and then exits a dolphin's inventory, its 5 minute despawn time is reset. That means no items will despawn whilst being sorted and entered into storage. It is important that the orientation of the platform is correct and is built as shown. There should be a sea lantern in the northwest corner of the design. This is where you should position your schematic around. The red glass indicates what is known to some as the noob line. Now if you are building an 128 by 128 block map art, then this line, which is immediately north of your map art, also needs to be filled with any type of carpet. This is to prevent a small lighting issue from happening when the map has been rendered. 
If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing to my channel for more Minecraft related content, such as tutorials and survival series. I have linked a schematic of this platform design in the description below. Whilst it can be built in any dimension, I would recommend building it in the end, so that you can utilise the platform for transparent map arts. If you have any questions or queries about this design, please leave them in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are with this design. This platform concept has enabled the production of map arts of all shapes and sizes to be built quickly and efficiently and has helped spark a new era of creativity with maps.